What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys everybody's favorite legendary. We got ourselves a Mewtwo team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Mewtwo by itself, this Pokemon is definitely into the lowest tier of restricted Pokemon. But when you pair it up with Ndidi and its Psychic Surge, this thing can do some crazy damage with Expanded Force. So that is what we're going to be trying to do today, looking to grab some wins with Mewtwo. But let's talk about this Pokemon just a little bit more, more as it has a Nerve and a Choice Scarf as its item. It's got the Ice Terror type, it's got Expanding Force, it's got Aurora Sphere, Blizzard, and Dark Pulse. Speaking of Blizzard, we can pair up this Pokemon with another Pokemon on the squad, which is going to be Alolan Ninetales. It's got Snow Warning, it's got Focus Sash, Protect, Freeze Dry, Icy Wind for Speed Control, and last but not least, one of the best moves in competitive, Aurora Bell. I absolutely love Squeeze. Our final four Pokemon on today's team going to be Incineroar, Ogre Pond, Ndidi, and Tornadus. Ndidi and Tornadus going to be on the supporting side. Incineroar is there for fake outs and intimidates, and Ogre Pond is just another big time attacker on the squad. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing Mewtwo in ranked regulation G. First match on its way, and we are going up against a Kyogre squad. Now, we have two ways of changing weather. One is going to be Ninetales, and the other one is going to be Tornadus. I like both of them in this matchup. I don't know if I'm going to bring both of them, but they have Grimmsnarl for screens. They got Incineroar and Robin for terrain control. That's looking terrible as well. And on top of that, they got Amoongus and Raging Bolt. So to be honest, this team kind of counters my team really well. They got a weather Pokemon. They got a terrain Pokemon. And on top of that, they got screens. Now, do I lead Ninetales here and maybe try to force them to swap in here? That is an option. But the thing is, if they lead Kyogre, you're just going to get weather control right off the rip. So I think we bring Ninetales more as a back end Pokemon. I do like Ogre Pond here as well. Um, I could maybe just go like Ndidi and, and uh, Mewtwo right off the rip. That wouldn't be terrible. And I think that's going to be our play. Mewtwo and Ndidi with Ninetales and ogre pond because i like ogre pond here let's be honest here it's great up against kyogre it can do some nice damage onto incineroar and especially if the rain's out ivy cudgel is just doing big time damage even on not very effective pokemon so it is something i do like here it is something i do like but i wonder who they're gonna lead here i'm kind of hoping they lead rillaboom and the rillaboom is faster than my indeedy just so we could get off terrain control just like that but um we might just want to hard swap our our Ndidi turn one and predict them swapping into Rollaboom. Because if I had to guess, they have to be bringing in Kyogre and Rollaboom. Both of them, I believe, are an absolute must for them. Well, let's see who they end up leading here. It's going to be Grimmsnarl and Incineroar. Okay, no big deal. We got this terrain up. You can't fake me out, but you could hard swap, which I might predict. I might just predict a hard swap here. So I might go into Ninetales. I don't know. I don't know. What should I do here? I could go for Follow Me. You could be going for Knock Off, which is... A bit scarier here as well. Hmm. I could just go into a War Spear. I mean, how much damage is a War Spear real doing? Minimal damage? Hmm. I wish I could protect you. I really do. I really do. Two Dark type Pokemon on the field here. Um. I'm gonna Roar Spear a slot, and at the same time, I'm just gonna swap. Actually, I might just Terra. No, we're not. We're not going to Terra. We are going to Terra. Terra or Spear with the hard swap into Ogre Pond. Just scary. This is, this is a great lead for them. Like double Psychic type versus a double Dark type. <laughs> it's just bad news. All right, so we get out of Ogre Pond here. I love my Ogre Pond. And we're going to Terrasalize a Mewtwo because I don't want to die out to one shot of a uh, of a knockoff, right? Cinnamor would just dump on it. So we're going to Terrasalize into Ice. I mean, I know that leaves us kind of hurting for Flare Blitz now. But Ogre Pond should outspeed this Incineroar, which is good. The Light Screen comes out here. Tough news for us. He's going to be able to get off Reflect as well. And Aurora Spear, how much damage are you doing here? Not bad. Actually, that would have did really good damage if, if they would have attacked my... Uh, or if they didn't set up Light Screen. But now from here, I still think Ivy Cudgel will KO. I think now it's a good turn for us to potentially just like hard swap here. Maybe go back into a DD just for support right now. And then we can just go into an Ivy Cudgel right here. Or they might hard swap. Now we're still going to throw an Ivy Cudgel here. I think it's just a safe play. So we're just going to hard swap into Indeedee. Um, We're going to go into an Ivy Cudgel. And we're just going to look to kind of do some damage onto this Incineroar. 
Who might swap? Honestly, I was gonna horn leech this slot and read a Kyogre swap, but I think we still do this. I'm still hoping that Ivy Cudgel through Reflect can just KO. And there's the withdrawal. I knew it, dude. Watch. It's gonna be Kyogre. It is Kyogre all day long. No, it's gonna be Rillaboom. Okay, so Rillaboom comes out here, takes terrain control. He can now fake me out. Um, I go for follow me's. I can spiky shield. And there's a the reflect. So we're playing this one slow. That might be a good turn for us to swap into into Nine Tails, and then just pose the weather threat, right? Yeah, definitely your best option. So we're gonna swap into Nine Tails here. Get, get that weather up, and we're just going to spiky shield this slot. Nice, lovely little spiky shield. Because if they're faking out anybody, it's going to be Ogre Pond, right? Ogre Pond's a scary little hitter on my team. So now I get out Nine Tails, and I know they have Kyogre, so we pretty much know their whole team. It's Incineroar, Robum, Kyogre, and Grimmsnarl. Makes sense, it's a powerful team. And I'm going to have to try to play around this with this off-meta-ish team. They got so many strong meta Pokemon that they're rocking out with. But Grimmsnarl's going to go for a Thunder Wave, which my Ogre Pond ends up blocking. And what are you going for here? You're going to go for a U-turn. You're going to double down Ogre Pond here. So this isn't a bad turn. This is not a bad turn. So something I see happening here is him hard swapping straight into Kyogre here. And this is where I hard swap into my... Uh... And this is where I hard swap into my... Um... Do I go into Mewtwo? Or do I go into like... Indeed here and take terrain control? I think we go into Mewtwo here. And then we predict this Kyogre swap. Right into the Rillaboom slot. That's going to be my plan. That's my plan all day. That's my plan all day. So we're going to pivot into Mewtwo here. So we can have weather and terrain control in the back end. We can swap into them whenever we want. And we're going to say Rillaboom swaps into Kyogre here. Come on, man. Give me that read. Give me that read. In the grassy terrain. Incineroar? No! No! Why wouldn't you swap into Kyogre there? I have weather! There's Kyogre. Are you kidding me? We picked the wrong slot. 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 Made a good read, though. Alright, so now, I mean, you can fake me out. I think Expanded Force might have to be our play here. I could just go... Oh, dude, this is scary. This is scary because, I mean... It's scaring me. I mean, we gotta go for Expanded Force here. And then hard swap you into... Indeedy and get Terrain Control. Because the thing is, even if you hard swap into Rillaboom, we're still gonna be able to Expanded Force it. I mean, your best option would be, like, Expanded Force and... Or, uh... Your best option would be to swap into Grimstone, but I don't think you do that. I don't think you do that. That's so annoying. I thought we were reading that Kyogre swap, and technically we did. We just got wrong slot. I would expect them kind of just to stay around and pester with Grimstone, but this match is insane. Swapping in and out, I just feel like this match is just made for swapping in and out. So we're playing it real slow. They're playing it real slow. Kind of doing the same thing here. I'm going to get out this Psychic Surge. I'm going to hope he's going for Fake Out, and I'm going to hope that we can get off an Expanded Force onto Kyogre. It's a withdrawal of Incineroar. And actually, wow. You get terrain control just like that. Oh, no, you go into Grimstrong. We don't mind that. We do not mind that. We do not mind that. And we're going to see a Terra pop out here. So we got an expanding force flying into this Kyogre. He's going to go into what typing here? He's going straight grass. That's, that's fine by me. I don't mind that. I do not mind that. So this should still do a nice chunk of damage here. I am still kind of scared of Water Spout. But expanded force through light screen, how much damage are we doing here? How much damage are we doing? Ouch. I expected a lot more. I expected a ton more. I expected a ton more there. And now that really hurts because this thing is boosted. Now this is where things get scary. This is where things get scary. I'll admit it. We're going to go for another expanded force here. Try to chip up some damage. Actually... Yeah, we're just going to go for another Expanded Force. Um, I kind of want to hard swap you 2 here as well. Just go into Ogre Pond. And at the same time, change up weather. Double swap. Double swap. <laughs> so many swaps this match. Getting out of hand. So we're going to double swap here. Um, I definitely go for another Calm Mind here. 
I think they're ready to just attack, and with this weather and ogre pond on the field, I think we should be fine for any water attacks. Grim Snarl is looking annoying. I'm gonna hope that we can get off a War Veil next turn, though. That's my whole plan. I really want to get off a War Veil. More so than anything. So I, I doubt they hard swap Kyogre. They're gonna, they're gonna withdraw Grim Snarl. So Grim Snarl gets to withdraw. Um, they're gonna go in the Rillaboom. I'm gonna set up this War Veil. I do like Blizzard here. I do absolutely love Blizzard. Out comes Origin Pulse. We get Water Absorb. But can you dodge this Ninetales? I think Ninetales soaks pretty well regardless, right? Never mind, I lied. Never mind, I lied. Okay, so one thing I really want to do here is make sure that I get off a of War Veil. That's one thing I like I need to do. That's one thing I need to do. So I can't be faked out. So I'm gonna hard swap into Ndidi on the Ogre Pond slot, just so he can't fake me out, and I'm gonna set up this War Bell. I don't mind if uh, Ninetales dies out, as long as I get off a War Bell. Be good for us. Could be good for us. We still have Mewtwo with Blizzard and Ice Terror, and I think that's gonna have to be the way we win this game. But I have to get this train right now. I have to get this train. You going for fake out? You're gonna watch all Kyogre, so that's fine by me. We get off a War Bell. Are they going to take out Ninetales? That's the real question. Or are you going to hard swap roll them? This match is just insane. Too many swap outs. Too many swap ins. But at least I'm getting off a war bell. So they don't go for fake out. We really wanted him to go for fake out. I should have just stayed in here with my uh, my Ogre Pond. He's going to U-turn. And actually, that's fine by me because I still get my Ninetales. So I still have my Ninetales. Rocky Helmet does a little bit of damage. We can now hard swap uh, Ninetales. This is just a crazy match. Match number one going crazy, but our opponent has such a perfect team to play this style. It's insane. It's insane. That's a perfect U-turn play right there. The smart U-turn play. So he turns out he now has rain. He's got it all. We have a war veil, which is it's okay. Um, I'm hoping my nine tails is faster though, because what I could do here is just try to start attacking at this point. Just go here and go into a free try. I could hard swap Ninetales. Yeah, we might as well hard swap Ninetales and maybe just go for a follow me here. Yeah, I'd rather sacrifice indeed here. I'd rather sacrifice indeed. So I'm gonna go follow me. I'm gonna keep my Ninetales. I'm gonna go into Ogre Pond here. This is absurd. This match is crazy. I'm trying here. I'm trying here. No Pokemon died yet. Not a single Pokemon died yet. And he withdraws Kyogre. Oh, oh my lord. This is just absurd. This is absurd. He's going to send out Rollboom. He's going to get Terrain Control. And I'm just going for a follow me. He's probably taking out Ndidi, picking up the first KO of the match. So Ndidi going to be gone. We don't have Terrain anymore. Oh man. Ain't, no. Never mind. You're not KOing Ndidi. You're not KOing Ndidi. Okay. That's fine. So we can swap Ndidi if we want to. <laughs> we can swap Ndidi if we want to. So the thing here is, I believe he's going for... This is just absurd. This is just absurd. Light Screen's gonna wear off. Um, could hard swap back into Kyogre here. I think we just hard swap into Mewtwo. On this slot for Ndidi. And <laughs> we just go Ivy Cudgel into this slot. I wonder, you're gonna swap somebody in for... for uh... I think I just play it smart here. I mean, if you go into... Uh... Kyogre here, no big deal. Then we can just take weather control next turn. But yeah, we're trying to play this one slow here. We're trying to play this one slow. We got a War Bell out. The Light Screen is gone, which is pretty good for us. So if they don't bring out Grimmsnarl here, we can start doing some nice damage. He's going to fake out the Ogre Pond. So we choose to fake out the Ogre Pond here. I'm going to flinch. I can't move. He's going to go for a party shot in the Ogre Pond as well, which is fine, which just leads me to hard swap him next turn. So I wonder if you go into Grim Snarl or if you go into Kyogre. That's the real question. Either way, I think we hard swap into Ninetales and we just start throwing Blizzards. Because Light Screen is gone. And you do go into Grim Snarl. Son of a biscuit. So he's going to set up a Light Screen here. This is so annoying. And I'm bringing out the weather. I'm bringing it out. Bringing out the weather. I mean, I don't have to, though. I could just rely on Blizzard actually hitting harder. But I mean, it's pretty... It's smarter on our end. 
Yeah, let's just do that. Let's bring out the weather. Dude, this match is... I, I haven't had a match like this in so long. In years. And I'm really hoping we win, but our opponent's looking like he's dwindling us down a little bit better than we are doing it to him. So I set up the snow. He's going to withdraw Robum. He's going to get the rain just like that. Can I at least land this blizzard onto Kyogre? No, you go into Incineroar instead. Okay. He goes into Incineroar. Can we get a freeze or something? That'd be nice. Freeze would be awesome. We're choosing in the blizzard. Light screen back out. Oh my lord. This is brutal. This is brutal out here. Blizzard gonna fly. How much damage is Blizzard doing? Nothing crazy, right? Not bad. Give me some freezes. Any freezy pops? No freezy pops out here. No freezy pops. Alright. So are they gonna swap into Kyogre? Most likely. We're still gonna throw a Blizzard across this field. And we're gonna just go. Are we gonna go into Indeedee here? Yeah, you might as well, you might as well get this terrain, because if they want to go for fake out, we can still maybe hit this Kyogre with a blizzard. We can maybe still hit Kyogre with a blizzard. Oh my lord, this might be my longest video. This might be my longest video. We're only in match number one! This is absurd! So I swap into Indeed here, Blizzard is still going to connect, which is great. You can't go for fake out. And we're still chunking up some damage now. What's he good? Any Freezy Pops? No Freezy Pops coming out here. He tries to go for a Will-O-Wisp. That's fine. He's going to start throwing some burns. And Grimstone, what are you going for? You going for Spirit Breaks now? You are. You little biscuit, dude. You little biscuit. That lowers my special attack. What is my play here? I don't even know. There goes my War Bell. Oh, dude, we did that many turns. Jeez, man. I'm still going to launch a blizzard here. I'm going to hope for maybe like a crit or something. You know, I'm going to double down with helping hand here. I'm going to go with helping hand. Did I, what did I, did I just press imprison or trick room? I didn't press helping hand. That's tough news here. I might have popped the trick room. I might have just popped the trick room. I think I popped the trick room. I'm almost positive I popped the trick room, which might end up helping him out here. Blizzard's still landing into the Kyogre, which is great. I would have loved to Helping Hand that, and it did some nice damage. Helping Hand would have probably KO'd the Incineroar, which would have been awesome. Because I got a crit. Yeah, that really hurts the soul that we didn't get it. That we didn't click Helping Hand, which I wanted to do. That could have been a big play for us. That could have been a monstrous play for us. And, and I misclicked. And I misclicked. Alright, whatever. Cool. I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. He ends up going into Rillaboom. So Robin comes out here, um, he's got rain cooking, and I pop a trick room, because I misclick, which actually sucks, because I really need it not to be trick room, because of my Mewtwo outspeeds. <laughs> my Mewtwo outspeeds. Now, Kyogre's getting back a ton of HP here, um, I have to swap Mewtwo regardless, because it's minus two on attack. And Ndidi's slowly taking some burns. So I might just keep Ndidi on the field here. And hard swap into... Ogre Pond. And try to cancel out this Trick Room because we really don't need it. <laughs> I misclicked, dude. That might be the death of us. And who knows? They might even hard swap Kyogre here. They might even hard swap Kyogre here just to try to keep some weather going. But I'm going to hard swap into Ogre Pond here. Robum's going to U-turn. That's a great call on their end. Just a U-turn pivot. Can you go into a water move here? Can you please go into a water move? It would be lovely if you go into a water move, just so I can get back some HP with the water absorbed. They go into Incineroar. Let's see what they got cooking here. Go, go for Origin Pulse or something. Calm Mind. Ah, no. We don't like that. We don't like that. Not one bit. Not one bit. At least I canceled Trick Room out. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do all that. They got Fake Out ready to roll. Um, what do I even do here? I'm trying. I'm trying here. I'm trying here. And that misclick was a big blunder on us. That could have won us the game. Getting rid of Incineroar would have been so huge. Like, just getting rid of Incineroar would have been massive. So now I'm sitting here. You're minus one, aren't you? I definitely want to spike and shield. Um.
I don't even know what to do. I guess we can follow me. I guess we just let him kill us. I don't, I'm, I don't want a hard swap right now. I don't want a hard swap here. I want a spiky shield. Let's spiky shield up. We got three minutes left until this battle ends. Fake out's gonna get blocked. How much damage does this spiky shield do? Spiky shield, KO. That'd be sweet. Oh, it almost does. It almost does. I'm going for a follow me. We got three minutes left in this match. An ice beam's gonna fly here, which we should soak. Burn's gonna start chipping us up, but I get back some HP, which is good news. Which is great news. So I think by going for another follow me, it's in our best interest. And we attack this Incineroar. Incineroar might hard swap, I don't know. We definitely gotta go for another follow me. I'm gonna go for an Ivy Cudgel in the rain. So I'm gonna go for Ivy Cudgel here. I'm gonna go for follow me. I'm gonna hope I can KO Incineroar if he KOs my Indeedee. There's no way you're going for Origin Pulse. You're probably just going for another Ice Beam. And there's the withdrawal of Incineroar into Rollaboom. Man, I hate this game. How much how much HP? Man? You got a lot of HP. Two minutes left. Two minutes left. Not bad damage there. He's gonna calm mind boost. He's gonna calm mind boost. Do I try to keep Ndidi on the field? My whole thing is I kind of need him just to like KO me here. I mean, you can grassy guide me, which really sucks. You might go for more combines. We might have to make a move here. I think going into Spiky Shield is our best option. And we hard swap into Mewtwo here. And then we hard swap into... Nine tails on the other side, and we go for a blizzard. Maybe try to get a crit to win this game, because honestly, the timer's running out, and it's just getting absurd at this point. It is just getting absurd at this point. This is the longest match I've ever been in. I have 59 seconds. They gotta make a move. They gotta make a move. I need to make a move. I need to make a move. What happens here if no Pokemon dies? What happens here if no Pokemon dies? What happens? Who are you gonna go into? You're gonna go into Grimmsnarl. I was gonna say, if you go into Incineroar, we can actually KO that. Do I go for a KO and into Grimmsnarl? I'm gonna go for a KO onto Grimmsnarl. We're not playing around. I'm gonna hard swap you for Ninetales. I'm gonna go for Blizzard. We're doing it. We're doing it. Last turn kind of plays. What happens? Does the match just end or do we get to see it? Time has ran out. The battle's over. I lost? What you mean? I lost this match? What do you mean I lost that match? I didn't lose a Pokemon. This makes no sense. Somebody's gotta let me know in the comment section down below. Why did I lose that match? Was it an RNG thing? Was it an HP thing? Maybe he did more damage to me. But honestly, we win that match if I don't blunder and click Trick Room instead of Helping Hand. Because then our crit would have KO'd that in Cinema all day. Which is actually very upsetting that I misclicked. But what a first match. No Pokemon lost. How crazy is that? We're hopping into our second match here. Coridon on the field. We absolutely love Coridon. And they all have uh, Fluttermane, Protosynthesis, uh, Rage Bolt, and then Roll Boom, Hisumi, Arcanine, and Shen Pao. Which is a strong combo. So, um... From here, if I had to guess, clear amulet is definitely what they got. I could leave Mewtwo and Ninetales, which is actually pretty good for us. And that's exactly who I'm going to leave with. Indeed, in the back end. And last but not least, do we go in with Ogre Pond or Incineroar? Incineroar could be good. And I kind of like Incineroar here, which is exactly what I'm going to do here. We are going to go into Incineroar. But yo, that first match is wild. So long, super long. We, hon we honestly might only have time for two videos today. Because I don't want to keep this video too long. We'll see. Depends if I if I win this match, we'll end the video here. If I lose this match, we're definitely gonna go into match number three. I think I think that I think that's a good a good little place there. But he's gonna end up going into Rillaboom here, which I can just hard swap and take terrain control. And I can outspeed and drop expanded force, which I'm a huge fan of. And I take weather right away, which is massive. So this is a big time turn for us. This is a big time turn for us. So we got weather right here. I could set up a roar veil. 
I could set up a War Veil right here if I want to, but they could just fake me out. So you know what? No, we're going to go into Expanded Force here. We're going to send it. They do not know that we're choiced anyway. And that we're going to outspeed Karaidon. So I can just hard swap straight into Indeedee here. Take Terrain Control, drop an Expanded Force. And right now is the time where I wish I had... Uh, I really wish I had Terra Psychic. Because I could just boost this damage like crazy. I could just boost this damage like crazy. Obviously, I could go into a Helping Hand this turn. But again, they have the Fake Out threat onto me. So I want to neutralize it. And I want to bring out Terrain at the same time. So... This was actually a really good turn for us because not only do we have weather control right now, forcing him to potentially swap Karaidon, but we also take terrain control, allowing him not to fake out. So we kind of have the upper hand already early on in this match. Um, I wonder what they're going to do here. Are they going to hard swap Karaidon? Most likely, right? Most likely. I'm hoping they don't hard swap Robum. I'm hoping they stay in here and look to go for a fake out. But they're just going to end up terrestrializing. Is this going to be Karaidon? And that's Rast Slash Karadon. Straight fire? Straight fire. No big deal. I still like the damage output onto this. And you're not swapping it, which is big time moves for us. Now, I'm really hoping he goes for Fake Out. That'd be big for us. And he does. And the reason that's so big is because I know my Pokemon are going to survive here. And on top of this, we have Terrain Control for the next turn. That's a massive damage. Flame Charge is going to fly here. Um, we could go for Follow Me or we could go for Helping Hand. I think Follow Me is going to be the play more so than anything. Because with this speed boost, he might be able to outspeed our, uh... He might be able to outspeed our Mewtwo. Let's check your speed out, Mewtwo. 160, you're fast. You are fast. Do I say the Choice Scarf can do it? I think Follow Me is just a safe play. I think Follow Me is just a safe play. Let's do it. Let's just follow me. Follow me, Expanded Force. And we're just gonna play this one smart. So it's crazy how slow the first match was and how fast this match is going. So he is outspeeding me, so this was a great call for us to just go into this, uh, follow me. Which I still think we might soak. No, we don't. You die out the recoil. We get rid of Rillaboom, so... I'm cool with this. Right? We have a Choice Scarf Mewtwo outspeeding Pokemon. You can't have Terrain anymore because we're KOing your Rillaboom, and you cannot have Weather anymore because we're KOing your Karina. I like it. I like it. Expanded Force flies. Pop, see you later. We love it. They still don't know we're choice. Actually, they probably know we're choice now. But I think from here we could just go into Incineroar. Because if you have any physical attackers, you can kind of just do them dirty that way. And then I can have Ninetales in the back end for a bit more speed control. They go into Fluttermane. They got no Protosynthesis. And they can go into Shenpowski. But they can't Terrasalize, so they're probably just going to protect it. That's cool by me. That's fine by me. We do Intimidate as well, which is pretty big. So we Intimidate Shen Pao. Um, chances are they just protect it. But I still think just going Expanding Force and just trying to get rid of this Flutter Mate is probably our best, our best bet. So I'm just going to fake this out. I'm going to drop another Expanding Force. He protects Shen Pao. No big deal. No big deal. We just still had to put that fake out pressure into it, right? Because imagine if it didn't protect. And there's Psychic Terrain, so I don't know why it protected it. I forgot about Psychic Terrain. They forgot about Psychic Terrain, and I forgot about Psychic Terrain, which is kind of funny. But how much damage are we doing to Fluttermane? A lot. That's some nice damage. He's going to be able to go for Shadow Ball. Can we soak this? We don't. That's not good. That is not good. That is not good. We still do have Terra, don't we? We should double down to Fluttermane there. I forgot about Terrain, too. I totally forgot about terrain. Okay, so from here, what is our terror types? We got ice and we got ghost. Ghost is actually pretty good if we could just get rid of flutter me in this turn. Um, I think from here we just go icy wind for a speed drop, and we terrestrialize you in the ghost, and we go for a uh, a knockoff KO in the flutter main. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Reason I'm going Ghost is because the only move that I'm really scared of, actually two moves, Shadow Ball and Sacred Sword. One, I don't think they're going to go for Shadow Ball into this Incineroar slot and predict the Ghost Terra. And two, Sacred Sword won't affect us. So I think if we could just KO this Flutter main, we should be sitting in a pretty decent position. And he is going to go Shadow Ball into Nine Tails, which is fine by me. So I'm able to soak. He's going to go for the Sacred Sword, and that was a good Terra for us. A great Terra for us. Because now I get to go for Icy Wind, and not only... 
pick up the KO on Fluttermane, but I take off Focus Sash onto Shin Pao, and I slow it down. So that's three things. I actually wasn't expecting Icy Wind to really pick up the KO on Fluttermane, which is why I wanted to attack and make sure it went down. But hey, that works out fine. Knockoff's gonna fly. And pick up a little bit of damage, but now from here I can just, you know, spam Icy Wind. I can also go into a War Veil, which honestly I'm gonna do. And then just drop a Flare Blitz because they can't thrash slide. So that's gonna be game. We get off this Aurora Bell, bulk on our defenses, and they just cancel it all day, so that's perfect. One and one for today's video. So guys, we're only going to have two battles for today's video, just due to the fact that I don't want this video to be too, too long, and that first match was as long as a Pokemon battle can get. It went the distance, no Pokemon died, and we lost to, I don't even know, I guess that's a loss. I really don't count it as loss, but I'll say we go one and one for today's video because technically we did lose. But second match, we absolutely killed it with Mewtwo, dropping Expanded Forces next to Indeedee, and then bringing out the Ninetales and Incineroar at the perfect time to clean up the mess. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.